Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Adams. Who doesn't love food? Especially if it's beautifully done, traditional, and good for you. Hungry? I am. Want to have dinner with me at my favorite restaurant in Vancouver, Salmon and Bennett Bistro? Then walk this way. Hi, Nez Hi. How are you? Good, good to see you. Nice to see you too, Chef Shauna. Lovely oh. to have you. Thank you for letting us come and visit you here. Thanks for coming. And I'm so looking forward to uh, learning more about preparing traditional food. Absolutely, looking forward to showing you. Good, and I see my friend Waylon is already here. Hey guys. Waylon, you're ready to uh, be a sous chef today? For sure, let's do this. And Shauna, are you up for it? Of course, let's go. Let's go. Let's have a look at this very unique menu. These are some amazing dishes that Chef Shauna creates every day. Sable fish with fennel sauce, rabbit, duck, bison meatloaf, elk roast, Arctic muskox. These are some very inspired, high quality indigenous dishes. Ah. Here at Zemanic, we get our wild rice from the prairies. Our bison is from Alberta. Whether the salmon is coming from the Pacific Ocean, which is absolutely crucial. Okay, Waylon, well, here I have uh, my barbecue salmon boost, and we serve this with our, our bannock crackers. And I'm just gonna do up a nice little rosette. Just like that. Oh, that looks great. And then I'll pass that on to you and let you have my hand do this. a little side rosette for a platter. Okay. Mine might not look as good as yours now. You got it. Perfect. Awesome. That's great. So, Chef Shauna. Yes. Tell me about what we have in front of us. Well, right here I have some salmon ceviche, which which is a quote unquote raw salmon dish is cooked with spice and acid, so we use lemon juice. We also have our Indian candy. And this is candy, do you say? What does that mean? It's a cured smoked salmon, and we just kind of serve it by peeling the skin off and slicing it up and serving it to our guests. You were saying that these are wild salmon. Yes. You don't use farm salmon? No, we don't. And here at Salmon and Bannock, it wild everything. Farm salmon, you're gonna find that it's a lot fattier because they don't live a natural life. They don't get to swim and spawn in the river. My community supports wild stocks by having a fish hatchery. Absolutely prefer hatchery to farming. Yes, I, I very much believe in supporting natural uh, fish stocks, plant um, stocks, right. and animal stocks wherever, wherever we can. Yes. It's part of our job as keepers of the land. Yes, absolutely. So, let's get back to this. Is it time to eat yet? <laughs> hey, how are you? Excellent. Oh, thank Excellent. you for good coming, to see you. my Oh, friend. you're welcome. How are you? You're welcome. So, I'm wondering what role food has played in connecting you to your family and your culture. Always have fish, you know, clean it, and hang it in a small house. And Barbecue and outside, big fire, different way than a smokehouse, eh? you know. Uh, so things have changed a lot uh, since you were uh, a kid. What were the big differences from access to traditional foods compared to now? When I look back, that's the biggest difference. We were one and we worked together. They would say, never waste, never waste salmon. Any part of the salmon you use at all. I find food trading to be really interesting between coastal nations and inland nations. Did your community ever practice it? Historically, as we do now, we trade. I remember as a boy, my mom saying to me that the best oligan oil came from up coast. So although we made it ourselves, whatever they were doing, they made the best. So trade back and forth in terms of food, constant. Well, thank you all so much for coming here today and sharing your thoughts and your ideas and your memories about food and family and culture. We're so very happy you could join us. Here we have our barbecue salmon mousse and then 
then on the right here we have some uh, cured bison, some smoked elk, some Indian candy, and all served on our bannock crackers. Thank you so much for joining us today to talk about the business and the art of preparing and eating traditional foods. I'm Dr. E, and we'll see you next time. Thank you all so much. Thanks, guys.